<clears throat> for people using Motive Wave in the United States who want to look at Canadian stocks traded on the Toronto Stock Exchange, because <coughs> your U.S. data feed is going to give you prices in U.S. dollars, your technical analysis is not going to be the same if you look at a U.S. dollar chart or a Canadian dollar chart, which is the original currency that the stock is traded in. Um, because of the exchange rate, and the exchange rate varies from day to day over time. So here's a perfect example. Here's um, Royal Bank, and you know you're trying to find some sense out of this stock. You know where might some trend lines be, and you look at drawing a trend line here, and you say, well, whoops. You look at drawing a trend line here, and you know I've got other things on the chart, but you know you just can't see a a trend happening on the right hand side of the chart. So let me uh, hide all those comments. And But if you look at Royal Bank in Canadian dollars on a weekly chart, there's a definite trend going on. So it's really not useful to look at Royal Bank in terms of US dollars. You need to look at it in terms of Canadian dollars. Now, if your feed of data can't give you prices from the Toronto Stock Exchange and TD Ameritrade that I use can't do that, then you're going to have to create a different desktop. And you go into Create Workspace and create a new workspace. And you can see in my workspaces, I've got one for the USA, which is from TD Ameritrade, where I trade. And the other one is Canada, which I get Google um, pricing. And the way you do that, well, I think you know how to do that, right? So to create a new workspace, you just give it a name and add a connection and select your service and select Google Yahoo, right? So I'm going to show you um, what Royal Bank is going to look like now in a different workspace getting a Canadian feed. So I'm going to shut down Motive Wave. And then I'm going to open Motive Wave again, but this time I'm going to pick my Canadian data source. It's a little inconvenient, but because I don't trade the Canadian stocks as regularly, I don't mind you know having to switch workspaces. And I've created a special workspace here and a watch list just with Canadian stocks. And if you look at um, Royal Bank in Canadian dollars, I mean, there's that nice trend line that we weren't able to see in U.S. dollars. Now, how do you find in Google, how do you find stocks with Canadian prices? So let's just go into a new tab here. So create a new chart. Um, I'll just go into the search here, right? Search, and you can search Google Canada, and you search for, let's see, BCE and you've got BCE on the Toronto Stock Exchange and on the New York Stock Exchange. So let's do an interesting little thing here. Let's um, let's click another another view. Let's go file new uh, new page. And my new page is going to be two side-by-side -side charts. So I'm going to call it 2x and on this one, I'm going to pick um, Royal Bank Toronto Stock Exchange. And on this one, I'm going to pick um, Royal Bank New York Stock Exchange right there. Uh, and I'm going to switch these to um, bar types. Um, uh, chart settings. Let me just go into uh, bar settings. I'm going to go into bar type. And I'm going to go to candlesticks. Okay. And here as well, I'm going to go into chart settings, um, candlesticks. And I'm going to go to weekly here, and I've got weekly automatic over there. So you can see that your Toronto Stock Exchange gives you this nice trend here. 
but your New York Stock Exchange does not give you the same trend line. With the high back here, this high back here was, uh, I haven't set up my preferences to, you know, pop up and show me the data because I've just um, created this particular um, configuration. I've got to go into my mode of wave preferences and you know be able to uh, tell you what date this is. But this is roughly uh, just before January and this is before just before January. So both of these highs are the same. And you can see in Canadian dollars we've got a trend going on here. In US dollars we don't. So I'm hoping this is helpful. If you have any questions, just um, feel free to ask.